Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we have a subway here. So when I was hearing gunshots and stuff, I'm pretty sure that was from down here. Um, I came down here and this is what I saw. We got a zombie tank. I don't have many bullets in my current gun, but I think I can get up these stairs and get out of here. Like zombie tanks, although they're, they hit super heavy, they're super slow. Like I can just dip up and out of here. So let's see. I think, yep, he's gonna follow me up. Okay, I just need to make sure. Yeah, we got joint servos going. I could get the adrenaline pump going. I don't know if we need it. We might, we might need it. This might be uh, tough for us to get out of here. I mean, we can, it looks like we're we're outrunning it though. I think we just need to. Okay, so we got our friend here, Harvey. So I think between us and Harvey, we could take it out if it follows me up. I'm not sure if it is. I think it might not follow us out. I'm just going to back up a little bit, though. And hopefully Harvey comes with us. Oh, yeah, Harvey. Actually, I think I told him to sleep. So he was just sleeping at the top there. Why don't you come out of there? So, yeah. Um, Harvey, I did want him to be able to sleep somewhere not in the car, but let's not have you sleep in the subway that's got that giant nasty dude right there. And actually, yeah, so just to give you um, a little background, basically I've cleared out most of this road, but not all of it. And it's basically been uh, me practicing my melee kind of like this, like trying to stay near my gun. Actually, can I just put that away and just reload the gun? Because we do have a full magazine here. I am going to, though, be um, wielding our Jane, and we'll use that primarily. Oh, okay, he took care of that. Uh, there's a fairly large group of zombies just north of us there. I don't think they're coming our way. Okay, let's get our gun. We'll just kind of head back a little bit. I, I do need to get a little bit more ammo. But I am excited to uh, clear out... Oh, actually, is that... That's a zombie technician. Can I get that to come over here? Can I get my gun out? Yeah, let's just shoot the snapper. Hello. Come over here. Pretty sure that that technician should have should be going for us right now. Okay, let's just go ahead and get our Jane out then. It's fine. The technician might come for us, but we'll just take care of the snapper first. This has basically been what I've been doing for quite a while now. Just trying to conserve my ammo a little bit because we are actually a little bit low on stuff for the scar. Um you know what? We will shoot the technician since it's not coming for us. You gonna come over here or no? Maybe I don't want to blast it with this gun. That might be not good for the cybernetics. Let's, uh, let's drop our sword and our backpack. And we'll try and, and get the technician. Are you gonna come over here, technician, or no? Yes, you are. Oh, our Jane was pulled away. You've got my Jane. Okay, well, I guess we'll go martial arts then. I don't, I like literally don't know any martial arts in this game. Uh, let's go with ti Tiger Kung Fu. I think that one we can actually maybe do a little bit of damage with. Yep. Oh, <laughs> and there's my Jane. Thank you. Um, I am not going to smash that. Oh, sorry. I, I've, I had been doing a little bit of just saving as I was doing things because I had been, um, you know. Oh, did I put on the towel? No, I'm not wearing the towel. Good. Um, where's the car? I mean, I could do a dissection here. I just kind of want to be somewhere that's a little bit more secure than over there. There's that boomer, but I don't think they're going to bother us. 
We'll be we'll get our breath back any second now. I've told him not to smash anything, any corpses, so you should yeah, just let us stay here. And we'll dissect you. Oh yeah, we have that CBM that allows us to um do those dissections pretty efficiently and we've got the repair nanobots it's like I've basically been just kind of going on and on and on fighting these guys I don't know if I even really want to pick up the faulty power CVM I mean I know I probably should um Harvey tell you what why don't we have you sleep here in the house by the motorcycle Um, we'll go in this one because I think we can close this that window as well. Yep, and then I can be like, "Yo, Harvey, why don't you relax?" And he'll be like, "Yeah, sure, I'll relax," and he's gonna go to sleep on the bed. Good night, Harvey. Have a good good rest. Uh, there's a couple reasons I'm doing this. This is the primary reason. He's kind of banged up, pretty badly actually. Um, the torso, I could maybe fix that up a, a little bit more. Yeah. <clears throat> so he'll be healing up a little bit. I've just basically, um, been leveling up his combat skills and my mine as well. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I need to get more rounds for our gun. I got my flashlight on. Oh, that MP3 player is out of battery. Yeah, just dump it. It's fine. And then let's just get a few more rounds. Do you see what I mean? We're actually getting to the point where we're scrounging rounds together. So I've got just about that full. I think we've got some more ammo belts in here, but they're a different gun. Yeah, see these we've got, but that's the, the wrong type of bullet. I actually have another 44 bullets right there of this. I do, I do have some bullets. But we're getting near the end of our super crazy military round bullets. I've got tons of cases if I want to craft more. Which I think I might. Because I really like those bullets. And I think we've got a nice pile of them back at the base. I'm going to take the car though, actually. Because we might as well. And I think we actually have... Let's see what guns we have. Because I think we've got... Um, we got our bolt driver that we could be using. I think this, though, is the one that takes the stand egg rounds. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% on it, but I'm pretty sure that that's the one that we want. Or that. That could work, too. Oh, my phone's got an alarm going. I, I, don't, I don't think you guys can hear it, so whatever. Um, it's gonna annoy me though. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, let's see what we can we can explore in the subway because my hopes is that we can find a um a lab or something. Let's see. Can I also just really quick? I'm just wanting to check for another MP3 because there's probably a couple of them around. Yeah, that's why I thought that there. I mean, when you kill as many zombies as we've killed around here, there's almost always going to be some stuff like that. Uh, it's also not got any battery power. That's fine. So, yeah, we'll go... Okay, we'll, we'll just kind of clear a little bit first. I think that's always a good idea. Oh, actually, I have stuff that I should probably be keeping in the car. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's get the Jane out. There we go. And I'm just gonna, you know, we can do this. And it'll just do it real quick for me. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then I can go ahead and deposit that. That is actually really nice, that, that auto walk. That just made that go a lot faster. Instead of me having to, like, edit out like part of me recording I was just able to like skip through it you know that's cool 
I like that. <laughs> nice for me. Um, we were gonna drive the car though. Oh, let me uh, show you also, we, we've moved some cars out of the way. I think I moved this car out of the way. I found that if you do like, if you line up your car like so, and you're just going really slow, and you just give it like a little nudge, you can totally move a car, and it doesn't really damage your car all that bad, that much. Like, look, there's no damaged parts, even though I, I just like bumped into that. Because I remember when I used to play, that was not the case, which is really annoying. Also, we could probably turn off our flashlight, make sure we got those headlights on, though. So yeah, that's that just helps you kind of clear out the road a little bit. And I, I've been trying to make this like have like a little bit of a freeway for us. I mean this that car I don't know what I'm gonna do, but like you can see like these roads are kinda kinda cleared out. I'm not completely cleared out, like I could move that car out of the way. Why don't we go ahead and do that really quick? It might even be drivable, but I think that I'll just give it a few love taps. Let's just give that another couple pushes. Okay, that is almost good. That looks fine to me. And then we'll turn our car around. And let's just kind of survey. Yeah, there's there's like a chunk of zombies there. Let's just kind of get our car just backed up just a little bit. Because I do want to fight them. Uh, but I just kind of want to make sure that I've got a good advantage. I'll, I'll keep the headlights on. Because we can use that. It's from east and below you here. Come here. So there's something down there. That's that's the thing, is that I know that there's something down there for sure. I got my flashlight off, so I think that we're not actually lit up right now. Yeah, we're not lit up. Okay. But we can go out into the headlights and then the enemies should see me. I should be able to see them for the most part. Where's that Kurosu zombie? There you are. You're hiding. Did I actually hit him? Yes, I did. Cool. And one more. Cool. See, that wasn't so bad. Um, now I just gotta be careful because probably something's gonna run towards here. Yeah, come here, buddy. I got it. And I think that we're far away enough from... Uh, Harvey, so he should be able to get a good night sleep while we're doing this. Uh, we don't really need that on as of right now. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be nice if we weren't tired because it also affects our morale, which affects our focus. So that's kind of a, a bummer. But I've just basically been doing this for a while. It's just kind of keeping my distance and trying to clear a little bit. And just primarily doing melee, but making sure I've got my gun with me in case we want to try using it, you know? So, actually, you know what we haven't used in a while is our infrared vision. If I look with that, can I see anything? I can see something over there. What is that? What is... that's weird. There's, like, something right there. Oh. It's a giant worm. Mm -hmm. Well, we could kill that if we wanted to, to get some meat or something. Just kind of want to make sure that we're in the clear zombie-wise. It seems like we kind of are. Not seeing too many nasty surprises here. Oh, there's a solar car right there. That's nice. Cool. Uh, well, maybe we should try and kill that big one that's down here and go down that subway. Feeling a, um, a little bit. Oh, were we using the Tiger Kung Fu? 
Um, yeah, there's that big guy down there making all, all kinds of noise. Um, I think it's probably... Yeah, I felt like it would be this guy right here. I think I'm going to go auto on you, dude. Yeah, we got a nice good aim. And let's go auto. And yeah, he should go down very soon. I think I'm going to go semi-auto. I might regret this. But we'll see. Oh, I'm attacked by the tank. Uh, let's uh, go auto. There we go. I'm not. I'm not gonna get punched by that. <laughs> That's not a good look. It's worth expending these bullets. I, it's a tank, you know. Like that damage is insane that you get from getting slammed into a wall. Okay, good. Make sure that tank and that wrestler stay down. Let's reload the gun just in case. I think there's quite a few dead zombies around here, but I think when I came through, I I came down here, I like, yeah, smashed them all. Good. Okay. But I did not get a chance to smash the ones down here. And there's some nasty ones right here. Let's, uh, you can, you can do that. That's fine. And just making sure your friend doesn't get up here. What else do we have here? I'm gonna stand on this and smash that. The others don't seem to be getting up. I'm just gonna take the opportunity right now to make sure that they don't get up. Um, hold on. What's this, a technician? Oh, hello. Oh, you didn't take my sword away, that's kinda nice. Um, that means they might start getting back up. I don't know where he came from. I think he came from above. I'm just gonna take care of these guys. We will take care of the corrosive one. It's just these are all fast to smash. Oh, there was actually a corrosive one right there. Got lucky. Okay. There's still a couple. Okay. But yeah, that should that make this place a whole lot more secure. I will try and take that technician um, apart and see what we can get from that. We might have to go back to the car for more batteries, but I think it's got to be worth it. Um, let's see, I'm going to just go ahead and butcher this guy now. Remember, yep. Where are the other ones coming from? Northeast? Okay. Yeah, it's basically the ones that are hidden by other things at this point. I'm kind of glad that I'm doing this because I know that my companion would just kind of indiscriminately smash them all and then we wouldn't get the CBM from this technician, you know? Now that we've cleared these guys out, we can go over here and dissect. Southeast and above, I'm hearing I, what I think is a lab. I'm pretty sure it must be a lab. Um, what did you get? Kinetic shock absorbers. Uh, not the best. I'll take that battery, though. So it's... um. We're hearing things from like the other side of this wall, right? Isn't that what's going on? Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. Gotta turn that off. But we'll go down, we'll explore the subway just a little bit. I'm kind of curious about the glass here. I have forgotten how that works, but I think that... Isn't there supposed to be like something behind it or something? I don't know. Let's just... We'll go down this way, and we'll just kind of explore the tunnels, see what we can find. It's a nice temperature down here, at least. I was, you know, I was thinking, I was uh, thinking that we could go troglobite mutation. 
just because I think there's a lab or something possibly around here, I'm gonna hang to this side. Maybe we'll hang in the center. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is interesting. What is this under? Okay. I have not gotten any indication that there's a lab here, but I'm interested to see what we find. I we did not bring any food with us. I I just realized, and I don't know where the next station is for the subway. <laughs> I don't think it's nearby at all. Oh man. Yeah, where does this go to? Oh, railway station here. Okay. That must be coming up here, right? Nope, we just passed right under it. Oh, okay. Did that just like not spawn right because I was going through this way? I'm very confused. Seems this just goes on for forever. Are we out of the city? Yeah, we're out of the city now. Okay, now we're just like in the middle of nowhere. Jeez. Uh, what was that? Hold on, what? What am I under right now? Homeless camp? Yeah, it's bizarre. You hear robotic clicking noises. What am I around? That's very strange. It's got my, uh, me a little bit curious. South and above you. Rock being blasted. Oh, I think it's just like one of those mining robots or whatever. Well, this goes on for a long ways, but I don't see... At least you hear crash. Oh, okay, I think that's us just being crazy. Wow, um, we sure went... We will feast upon you. That's, um, not good. Foul interloper. I've not seen that message before. I am actually a little bit worried now. I've not seen that <laughs> that message before. Uh, guys, what's going on? Bowel interloper. We were near the cave there. Uh. That was super weird. Like, that was actually, like, like, legit spooky. I was like, oh my god, what just, what just happened? Can we just go all the way back? Just, just keep on going, it's fine. Oh, no. Do not step in lava. What the heck? <laughs> Good god. Blisters? I got blisters. Well, happy day. That's not fair. Well, we're gonna have to do a little bit of first aid because of the the lava there. Well, if we need um, a source of light and fire underground to live by, we could do that. Like, we could legit do a troglobite play through right now and I think it would go pretty well. Okay, we are getting very hungry. Don't really have food on us. I know that we've got tons of food up on the surface like all those houses that have looted tons of food in them. I'm just disappointed that we're not getting any like underground labs from these tunnels. I'm curious how this hooks up to the lab or if it hooks up to the lab. Oh hello. Where did you come from? That was random. Oh, what's this? Is this another station then? Yep, we got another subway station. Nice. Okay, this is a, a proper station. Oh, hello. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped my gun. 
Yeah, maybe I should not have dropped my gun. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and turn off the flashlight for now. I'm gonna go infrared vision so I can kind of see how many we're dealing with right now. We're gonna try and avoid them a little bit. Okay, well... Dang, our gun is down there. I think this is that big boy, so we don't want to get punched into the wall. We can avoid it. Though I'm pretty sure we're gonna, we can't really avoid the guy. I'm gonna stand here. Actually, right here. Yep. And we'll, we'll hit him how, how hard we can. And we'll do what damage we can. I, I think that we're fine here. We just need to be smart about things. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I did 30 damage. I think that we'll be fine against this guy. We just need to be careful. And also pumped up with adrenaline. That would also help. Yeah, 53 damage. That's pretty good. Uh oh, we're disoriented. Oh god. There we go. Take that Night Stalker. Okay, while we've got the adrenaline, I think I'm gonna go forward and see what we can do. Oh, what's... Oh wait, no, that's the one I killed before. Um... That's interesting. I mean, there's some smoke here. There's definitely... Yeah, there's quite a few bogeys down there. It looks like we couldn't see their, them through the infrared cloud there. But something's fighting something. Yeah, I am intrigued. What are you? I think you're a zombie. Yeah, you're just a, a little zombie. Take that. Let's see what else. There's a there's a battle going on here. I am thinking we might be able to get to our gun. I'm also a little bit nervous. Yeah. That group, whatever it is, is making me a little nervous. I just don't know what they are. Okay, I don't think we're in smoke right now. Now, where did we put our gun? And, okay, here we go. We got our gun. We'll get the gun. And now I'm feeling a lot more confident to see what we're dealing with here. I'm just going to kind of try and walk and get some of their attention. What if I try and do like a little yelp? No, that didn't really work. Okay, well, let's just, uh, let's just see what we're dealing with. A wrestler and a juggernaut. Yeah, I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. Um, <laughs> I mean, we could easily just walk back. It's, like, not a big deal. I mean, this subway station, we probably are going to be walking into a lot of zombies up there anyways. I want to get to that library, but I think that we'll, we'll not go through the tunnels for that. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a smart, smart way of doing it. We're kind of like hurt. We're apparently blistered. I, I think that that's no longer the case, but we're still kind of hurting. But like, you know, I think that we're doing pretty good. I'm feeling confident in our ability to solo explore. And our companion as well was pretty useful. Yeah, just keep on going. It's fine. It's kind of a shame that this is a dead end though. The station. But, you know, it is what it is. End of the line, right? <laughs> We're going to have that adrenaline come down soon, so we're not going to be in a good state to fight anyways. 
I'm just curious if we go back to our friend. I'm also wanting, wondering if we can just not get spotted by the zombies. Yeah, the nice thing about this is that we can kind of see if there is zombies from pretty far away with those headlights, but I can approach the car in a way where most of them can't see me, you know? That worked out nicely. Don't have any ammo for that, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, that's a shame. I did want to drive back to our friend and just check up on him, just so you could see how much he's healed in the time we've been fighting. Man, this is like, honestly, I'm pretty proud of this road. I feel like this is pretty clear. I mean, this is kind of annoying right here. This little tight point right here, but you can get between them and it's fine. I don't know if it would be a good idea to try and ram that little car from the side because the wheels aren't really like facing that way. I don't know if that's like a if that would mess it up. I know in real life you wouldn't want to do that. So that's why I get nervous. Um, and I'll get my own food soon. I just kind of wanted to say hello to our friend. Let's see, how are you doing? He's a little bit healed up. That's pretty good. And his legs and his arms are going to be fully healed by the time his torso and his... Uh, Head or anywhere close. But he's, he looks like he's been having a good old nap down here. Well, I've just been, you know, like exploring the underground, looking for my, uh, my lab unsuccessfully. I mean, I, there's definitely something weird going on, though, in the ground around the subway station. Like, right here or here. I don't know what's going on, but I think that we want to try and knock down those walls and get in there, or something, you know? Because, like, honestly, there's something weird going on with that. Okay, and... Yeah, and from what I can tell, that there's no way to go down at the dispensary. Or the... Actually, have I checked these houses? I feel like I must have. And they're so close. Let's just check them really quick. I know that we're going a little bit over, but I don't think it's a big deal. Because I don't think this is going to add much on. Yeah, our adrenaline rush is over. Okay, that's blocked off. That's a no-go. And it's, uh, this one's practically half caved in. A little nerve-wracking. Let's get the flashlight on just for a little bit. Come on. Here, the, here we go. Oh, survivor. Okay. Well, that this can have some good stuff in it. If I try and unload that... No, it's got no ammo. I don't think that ever does spawn with ammo, but this usually does. Yep. I'll take that. And this, yeah. These guns usually spawn with a couple bullets as well. We don't need the wing master, but I'll take the, the shotgun shells. And there's usually a pistol in here. Yeah, I'll take the pistol. I'll just use the pistol, honestly. And look, we were, we were looking for food, right? Well, there's your uh, your calories right there for the day. Is that water? No, that's purification tablets. Well, you know what we could do? Uh, something that I actually haven't really used before, but we could purify that uh, water. Right? No? Hmm. It looks like it needs to be in a container. Whatever. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm going to end this uh, here. Thank you for joining me. This has been... Orange one.